852, well, one of many incredible artists playing at, in Dallas this weekend at the Riverfront Jazz Festival. Then heads off to tour in Europe is Spyro Gyra. So glad to welcome Scott Ambush, who's the bass player with the group, who's been with the group, by the way, for 30 years. Scott, good morning and, and thanks for joining us. Hey, Hannah, how are you? Good to be here. I, I'm doing good well. Good morning, Dallas. Yeah, good morning. Good day, how Dallas, how are you? I'm good. Thanks. So I know you performed in Austin last night. You're going to be headed to Dallas this weekend. Are you already in town or are you still in Austin? Actually, we're still in Austin. We're performing tonight in Austin gotcha. at the Paramount Theater and then wow. heading to Dallas tomorrow. I mean, that's that's a quick turnaround. I know decades of touring. This is this is nothing for you. I mean, how is it being back in person in front of live audiences? It's been great. Uh, we've been back uh, pretty steady since last fall. Mm -hmm. um, we have we're off for about 18 months, which was uh, strange. Right. Strange, strange and tough, especially when a lot of artists, I mean, I'm sure you especially you really thrive off of the audience energy when you're when you're performing. Is there anything that's unique when you I mean, obviously tour all over the world, but when you come to Texas, that stands out? Uh, no, no, other than that, you know, the crowds are always really great. This festival looks wonderful. That's, uh, you know, all three days are great artists on it. And uh, we've been playing Texas quite a bit. I mean, Austin, we play Austin virtually every year. We play Dallas quite a bit. So uh, it's it's great. The audiences are great. Oh, yeah. A anything that in particular that fans can look forward to ahead of this weekend's show? Um. You know, all the usual, uh, we have like to play the fan favorites, so we mm -hmm. have to stick those in there. And uh, uh, one thing about the band is when we tour each year, I mean, there's 30, if you're uh, now, if you're including the best of collections, there's 31 or wow. so albums to, for, of music to choose from. So yeah. every year we try to incorporate more of, you know, of the history, including the, and in addition to the uh, new material. So the show is always different every, every tour. Well, and that's, that, I mean, that has to be fun for you that there's so much to choose from for you. For this festival, there's also several great jazz musicians that will be joining you, Erica Badu, Diana Reeves, and Houston native Robert Glasper. Are there any up-and-coming yeah. musicians that have really caught your eye? Um, you know, we were just listening to, uh, oh, someone just sent me a, a video yesterday <laughs> of, uh, oh, now it's, it's escaping. But, you know, there's the, the, there are, tons of young musicians coming up. There's uh, with uh, YouTube and, and uh, social media and the preponderance of the internet over the last you know couple of decades, the ability to access music and to learn music has really become much more uh, accessible to musicians. You don't have to necessarily go to a, a university or a conservatory to really you know steep yourself in the music. So there's so many great young musicians coming up. Yeah. And I'm sure you've gotten to see that evolution just, I mean, really in real time, which is really special. It's the kickoff, really, really uh, crazy. Yeah. So for this weekend's event, the kickoff, just for anybody who wants to know, uh, for the Black Academy of Arts and Letters Riverfront Jazz Festival in downtown Dallas, that's at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center tonight. Spyro Gyra plays tomorrow at 7. That festival, by the way, runs through Sunday, and we have a link for tickets on our website. Fox4news.com. Scott, thank you so much for your time and, and have fun performing tonight and this weekend and then off to Europe. Thank you, Hannah. Appreciate it. Maybe we'll see you.